Good morning, Leo. Welcome to my channel, Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you another, I guess, weekend love read. Uh, these messages are for whenever you land here. So whenever you come across this video, I do believe that there is a message here waiting for you. Um, we're going to take a look at you and all 12 zodiac signs. So you can fast track this reading to go to direct to the sign of the person that you're dealing with or connecting to in love. Um, whenever you tune into this reading. Okay, Leo, I am going to be using the Lioness Oracle. If you're wondering what that smoke is wafting in front of the camera, it's just my Palo Santo that I did a clearing and cleanse with prior to hitting play. <laughs> Um, so for those of you who are curious, that's what that is. Also too, do keep in mind, Leo, this is a general reading, so the messages may or may not apply, all right? If you find that the messages are speaking to you, then hit that like button to let me know. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Or equally, you can take advantage of a new special feature, which is where the, the thumbs up and the thumbs down button is. If you scroll along, you will see a heart emoji kind of thing. Um, and it's a many thanks button. So if you take advantage of that, you'll be supporting my channel. And I will um, make sure I make a special shout out and mention in my next Leo reading. Okay, Leo? For those of you who are curious, I am using the Lioness Oracle deck. All right, let's let's dive on in. Aries, uh, Leo, sorry, Leo, if you're dealing with an Aries. They're coming through as the Two of Wands and the Page of Swords. Okay, I feel that this person, this Aries, is at some kind of a crossroad with the Two of Wands. Okay. They're at some kind of a crossroad where they're needing to make a decision regarding your connection, regarding your relationship, regarding um, the situation. Yeah, and I feel, I feel, because there's two candle obras here. There's one candle over here and there's one candle over here and there's flowers surrounding one of the candle obras. So it could be a decision between whether or not they're ready to invest further into this connection. Like do flowers to me represent growth. So do they want to grow with you here? So I feel like they, yeah, I feel like they're trying to decide whether or not that's what they want. With the Page of Swords here, this is, um, this is telling me that they're just watching observing i feel like they're sort of waiting it out as well the page of swords to me is an insecure energy so your aries may be feeling a little insecure or just like unsure of their decision i feel like they're maybe having a bit of a hard time making this decision because they're lacking the clarity or they really just don't know what it, what it is that they want Yeah, I feel like your your Aries is feeling very indecisive here, not knowing what they want, but yet they don't want to let you go either. I feel with the Page of Swords here that this Aries is not really overly expressive or communicative at this time as either. Okay, for those of you dealing with a Taurus, your Taurus is coming through as the Page of Cups and the Four of Cups. So... I feel this Taurian in your life um, sees you as their ideal partner. Um, I feel like they're daydreaming about you. They're constantly thinking about you. It's bringing out a romantic side in this Taurus. Okay. Again, I feel that um, there is an insecurity coming through with this Taurus. Okay. Maybe... They think they are ready for something more. But with the Four of Cups here, to me, the Four of Cups is kind of like the card that would indicate this person isn't very interested. 
okay? They, they're showing interest, but it's only a little bit of interest. And again, I just feel it's because the Page of Cups is insecure, all right? They're not really mature. They haven't really grown up enough to really show that direct um, message, show you that direct message of, no, I am interested because I feel like this person is a little bit shy, Okay, or they're just, maybe it's not shyness. Maybe they're just unsure or, un, yeah, unsure of themselves. Hmm. They're unsure of themselves at this time, Leo. For those of you dealing with the Gemini, your Dem Gemini is coming through as the Death and the Sun card. So your Gemini, you're connecting to a Gemini that may need to end um, a relationship in order to come towards you because look they've got the sun card here so your gemini is very focused and interested in you okay they feel that you bring out the sunshine and the positivity you make them a better person but there's something here in their life that they need to close out it could be an a relationship so leaving that relationship or just tying off ends of something here in order to have uh, something more here with you. Also, too, you could be dealing with a Gemini that is currently going through something in their life with the death card. They could be going through some kind of an ending. And it's a change that is occurring in their life. And they may need you for your support with the Sun card because the Sun card is... Um, it's positivity, it's optimism, and maybe you're bringing more of that into their life, especially if they're going through some major changes and transformations here. For those of you connecting with a Cancerian, your Cancerian is coming through as the Three of Pentacles and the Justice. Okay, so I'm getting with the Three of Pentacles. It's about teamwork. It's about cooperation. It's about meeting in the middle. Your Cancerian is trying to feel out whether or not you both are on the same page, ready to go maybe the next level. Okay, your Cancerian with the Justice card, they want to come to some kind of um, peace and harmony within this connection. Okay, what they really, really want here is balance and order in, in your relationship or in this connection. And I feel in order to maintain that or to have that, um, they're probably willing to, with the Three of Pentacles, come to some kind of a compromise, Leo, or just meet in the middle because they don't want to stay stuck. Okay, they want to move past something here with you. But in order to do that, it's got to be equal. It's got to be something that you both want, right? For those of you connecting with another Leo, that Leo is coming through as the Tower and the Page of Pentacles. So I feel that something, um, I feel like this Leo has had something disruptive happen. Maybe they did something to disrupt the connection. And the tower is usually an energy of uh, something that has happened unexpectedly that you didn't see coming, um, that was triggered by the Leo in your life. Okay, maybe they've had some kind of epiphany or some aha moment, or maybe they've received a good kick up the behind and they're realizing something here, Leo. What they're realizing with the Page of Pentacles is that they're ready for commitment. They're ready for something more serious. Now, the Page of Pentacles is also an offer. So this Leo could be uh, receiving the insight or the call this week to offer you something more solid, offer you something more serious. Um, it could be in the form of a gift as well maybe a gift to apologize for causing some kind of upheaval or disruption to this connection for those of you connecting with the virgo this virgo is coming through as the emperor and the hanged woman 
So I feel um, your Virgo is doing very well for themselves with the Emperor. They could be focused on some kind of a mission or purpose. I feel like they're throwing themselves into something that is enriching or making their lives feel more fulfilled. Um, I do get the sense, though, that the Virgo that you're dealing with, Leo, is coming through as... I feel like I want to say sort of stubborn or fixed, like there's a fixed energy because the hanged woman tells me here that this Virgo isn't doing anything regarding this connection. I feel like they're just suspended there. I feel like they're just hanging there. They could be just playing the waiting game with you whilst they focus on other things. I don't feel that this Virgo is um, initiating anything here or making any moves when it comes to you, Leo, okay? Um, I just get the sense that with the Emperor here that they're kind of putting themselves on some kind of a pedestal, um, feeling like they're worth more or they require more um, and that they're just sort of focusing on something that really... They're focusing on serving the world, here and I feel like that's their that's their main focus. Leo, for those of you dealing with a Libran, your Libran is coming through as the Four of Swords and the Hermit. So yeah, strong energy here that the Libran in your life is not currently talking to you. I feel like they're sick and tired of the same tune or the same song or the same story. I feel like there's something here about this connection that keeps going round and round and round and round and they're getting tired of it. Okay, they're getting tired of it. I feel with the Hermit here that this Libran has uh, retreated or is going to retreat. Um, yeah, they're just sort of going into themselves, maybe to work things out. Okay, I do feel that this person... This Libran is in deep reflection mode right now. They're probably just trying to figure out what's going on. It could be what's going on or what it is that they want. I'm also sensing some changes around your Libran. Okay, maybe their feelings are changing. Um, and they it's getting to that point now where it's like they have to stop and think moving forward. Do I want this? Because I feel like they're changing yeah, there's some major changes going on within this Libran's feelings, Leo. Okay, so for those of you connecting to a Scorpio, your Scorpio is coming through as the Eight of Pentacles and the Lovers. So I'm getting here, uh, Leo, that your Scorpio, this may be like a physical connection or something sexual that you have here with your Scorpio. And I feel like they're ready to... Um, put more effort and put more work into this to make it something more uh, meaningful. Does that make sense? So it could be something here that started off as sexual, um, but ultimately they feel a deep connection here. They feel a deep bond. And I feel, I feel like maybe they're realising here, maybe through conversations with you, Leo, that with the Eight of Pentacles, that they want something more. Okay? Yeah, I don't know. That's what, that's what I'm getting there. Okay, for those of you connecting with a Sagittarian, let's have a look at that energy. They're coming through as the Queen of Wands and the Devil. Okay. I feel with your Sagittarian that they're up to some kind of a mischief. That's straight away, that's what I hear. Um, there's a mischievous energy coming through the Sagittarian. I feel like they're coming through as the Queen of Wands with the Devil right beside, very flirtatious. They could be, yeah, flirting with many different people right now. And I feel maybe it's because... It's boosting their confidence. If you're not giving this Sagittarian much attention, I feel like they're doing something here to get the attention. Does that make sense, Leo? 
yeah, they're coming through to me as maybe playing up or being mischievous, but it's coming from a lack. With the devil, it's telling me he, it's coming from a place of lack. Because, I mean, the Queen of Wands on its own is a very powerful energy. It's a very confident energy. But the fact that the devil is here tells me here that they're pulling energy in to them, but it's not... It's not coming from a higher place. It's coming from a place of lack. And I feel the Sagittarian is doing something to maybe draw your attention in, but it's not done in the healthiest way. That's what I'm saying. And if it's not your energy that they're pulling in, um, I'm feeling like they're being mischievous and they're trying to get it from other sources. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I've got with your Sagittarian, guys. Um, for those of you connecting with a Capricorn, your Capricorn is coming through as the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel that the Capricorn in your life wants this, wants to start something here with you. They want something more serious, more solid, more stable. They want, they want a commitment here. But with the Five of Pentacles, it tells me with uh, it tells me that that might not be possible. They might be starting to feel like a future with you, um, a marriage with you, a life with you is not possible. It could be down to finances. I feel like maybe they want to offer you something more. But with the Five of Pentacles, it's telling me here, maybe they're just not ready. Maybe they're not at that point in that in their life where they're ready. Like maybe they haven't got all of their ducks in a row and maybe that's what's holding them back. Okay. They could also be feeling left out in the cold or maybe they're leaving you out in the cold. Okay. But someone's maybe receiving the cold shoulder here. And it could be with a Capricorn that you've just recently connected to or you've just started seeing. Lots of different messages coming through. Take what fits, guys. Okay, I'll move these cards along. For those of you connecting with an, with an Aquarius, your Aquarian is coming through as the Three of Cups and the Moon. Okay, so I have to say here, Leo, that you're dealing with a, an Aquarian that is keeping secrets from you. I feel like they, they, with the Three of Cups here, that they could be entertaining other options right now. Okay, I feel what you don't know is that they just want something casual here with you. Okay, they have a good time with you. They have a great energy when they're around you they enjoy your company they enjoy the laughter they enjoy the play but i i get the sense that they don't want anything more than that i feel like this aquarian in your life wants to hook up again and it's just a hook up the moon is it's hiding the truth of the situation and i just feel the truth really is with the moon here what you may not know is that they just want something casual they just want to hook up okay for those of you dealing with a pisces your pisces is coming through as the five of cups and the high priestess okay so i'm, I'm sensing here that um you're dealing with a pisces that may be may have gone quiet or isn't really saying too much with the high priestess because the high priestess is the keeper of secrets, is the keeper of knowledge, but isn't letting that out, letting on what they know. They they know something here. They could be keeping something from you. They could have recently gone through some kind of a loss. Maybe what they're keeping from you here, Pisces, Leo, is that this Pisces is very feeling very regretful or maybe even remorseful. But with the High Priestess, it's like they don't want to let you in on that. They don't want to let you know. Also, too, Pisces is a very sensitive and deeply emotional sign. So I feel like they're trying to deal with their emotions right now. But with the High Priestess, they don't want to let you know that's what's happening. 
okay, because they're too sensitive, too emotional to let you in on that. Mm. So there we have it, Leo, they're your messages. Hopefully these were helpful to you at this time. Don't forget to give us a like uh, if it did. And until next time, take care, Leo.